Hey folks, Quill18 here and welcome to another episode of our RimWorld Anomaly Run, which I'm probably titling A New Hope. We have got our three people here and we've gotten past the very awkward period where we started with absolutely nothing except the clothes on our back over here. It was a it was a hard scramble for the first couple episodes, but we've got a consistent amount of food coming in. We've got a nutrient paste dispenser. We've got power. We've even got a battery set up. So our food situation situation is now stable and that's wonderful. The biggest annoyance is probably gonna be a general lack of wood on this arid map. Um, so we are gonna have to try to do as many things without using wood as possible, though we also don't wanna do too many things with steel because that is long-term a limited resource as well. So we'll see what we can do about stone. I still think we might end up moving into the mountain, at least for part of it. Although I don't know how realistic that is. Because I was talking about being fine with dealing with insects and stuff, but because our fertile stockpile is here, and this mountain's actually fairly far away, we, we don't really minimize how much walking distance our people have to deal with. But the first thing we have to deal with is the fact that we are currently being raided. These guys, I believe, are going to prepare for a while in the attack. Was it? Although the last group that, the last one who did that, yeah, ended up walking directly into the base anyway. All right, no, he's just parked out there. Yeah, stay there for a bit. I mean, it's not going to take long before he attacks, but it's going to be fine. We're gonna hold open this door, please. So Smogger, can you go through and just trigger that? There we go. We're gonna use this as the uh, defensive chokehold for the attack. Did this. I think it's outside the work area, but we want to pick that up and do some nurturing afterwards. Horses are moving closer and closer to our crops. Uh, this ostrich might be stuck inside our area. We might want to go and do a hunt on that. Now, it'll be an organized thing, not just sending one person, because they'll definitely want to aggro on us. All right, the attack has started, which is fine. Um, no, I just want to select you two. Sorry, God. So annoying. Okay, well, this is actually fine. Come on, bro. I mean, maybe Hope could have taken some pot shots outside. Are you? Oh, okay. That's fine. We had a we had a butcher command on there. Now you're setting fire to my crops. <sighs> All right. There's a path inside here, so that's kind of a little annoying. Not gonna lie. Very rude. I believe you do that. So we're gonna have to home zone this area. On recruit. Unforbid this. Do we still have a unfilled grave? We do. Good. Okay. Now, clear home zone. So who handles the slaughtering of our tamed animals? Is that, an, is that an animal handling job? It might be. We might not have anyone set to that. Yeah, we don't. We'll just set a priority of one on everything because butchering doesn't take any skill. And then this way, if we do have any tamed animals, these will also uh, bring people there. We're not going to use any of our animal handlers to tame any new animals. This is going to be okay. got hurt again, but just a bruise, you're fine. I'm not even worthy of using medicine. What I should do is default here. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. Disturbing visions. Hope has had a strange dream. In it, she saw a black shape unfurling in space and time, growing and consuming. The shape originated from a nearby crumbled monolith. Upon waking from the vision, Hope feels strangely drawn to the monolith. It calls to her. So I'm guessing the way it works is if you want to ignore the anomaly mechanics other than, I suppose, shamblers, which we got some in episode one, two. Um, you know, if you otherwise, if you want to not deal with the mechanics, you can just not poke the monolith. Maybe things will happen on their own anyway. We will be looking forward to poking the monolith, but not yet. You guys are just on a haul here. Okay, let's go. I know some of you are slightly injured. Um, is getting annoyingly close. Okay, hope. Start shooting. This there you go. Nice shot. Getting it right away. We could maybe do some more kiting, but we'll just go. Possibly go wrong. Well, someone could lose an eye. Um, finish it off, please. Thank you. Good. All right. Let's butcher. Is it Gomp getting hurt again? Why is it Gomp every time? You know what? Let's leave you on Herbal. Also flag a medical bed. And everyone's medical is set to one. And no, with no self-tend. Oh, wait. Hold on. Some Whoever's got the five, which I think is smogger, might have been turned with the, the self-tend on. Let's hope you don't get an infection there. Although, I think... Do you not have super immune? As a pigskin. 
Strong immunity anyway. Yeah, good. Excellent. I don't know if you're less likely to get infected in the first place or just heals from infections faster. But either way, maybe it's good the Gomp is the one who keeps getting hit. Uh, we don't have bed rats turned on, so as soon as Gomp is awake again... Wow, they're actually, they are awake. I guess there will be some trigger where they're going to get up over here because they don't actually need any more treatment, so that's fine. So we're just moving some rocks right now, which tells us that we don't have much left in the queue. Uh, cooking is Gomp's job, which... Um, will mean that they should go and do some butchering soon. Then the slaughter turns out as animal handling, but the actual butchering is a cooking job. I guess if you get sick, we've also got the preach health, which I've got to remember. Okay, you're doing the rabbit. Now do the ostrich. Yeah, ostrich. Good. That gets put in the hopper here. This stuff will rot pretty fast but because we don't have any refrigeration, but again, it will get consumed first. You see, yeah, you don't stack it up because it's different meats. But that's okay. Some botched harvest. That's actually pretty disappointing there. Gomp. And skill. You do have a manipulation penalty because you're trotters. Oh, um, unrestrict. In the zones. Good. If we did more meat, we did need more meat, we could hunt these horses, but we are fine on food. In fact. Oh, right, you're hauling that too. In fact, I think we're going to go ahead and do another ritual with the hope that we get a random recruit. Might be a time to expand our space here as well. How pretty is this? Very impressive. Yeah, all these plants. I mean, at some point, we'll probably stop doing the daylily thing, but it is going to be a good and helpful boost right now. There we go. Pug wants to join it. A child, a five-year-old child. Hope's brother. I mean, we, we can't say no for a multitude of different reasons. Uh, and you all should bring your machine pistol with you. Well, that's not so bad. Um, whew. all right. We need some education. I think we're going to expand this space. Let me slap down, first of all, we, we're going to want to go with triple of these desks, but, or the triple blackboards. We're going to have to build that out of sandstone. I don't like because it does have increased production times. Oh, we need to... Uh, give some extra space here. But I need to preserve the amount of wood we've got as much as possible. So we'll at least get something set up. I think these chairs can't be made out of stone. I wonder if stools could. It's not very comfortable. But for now, let's do this. Let's get these built first, and what we're going to do is we're going to expand this area. And just in bigger nest. I was talking about not doing the uh, 25 by 25 square, but I think we've got enough difficulties going against us right now. I really have to get a kill tunnel of any kind. Maybe I'll plan that with the or a little expansion here. And at some point, we'll also do some walling. I'll probably want a second stone cutter's table. Oh, uh, Pug, what can you do? Patient, basic, and then haul and clean. Okay. Maybe I'll bring everyone's clean down to a four. Pug will spend a lot of time just playing because kid stuff, but I think they'll probably end up doing enough cleaning to be helpful. And, and to, do an, uh, to, to do enough cleaning for the entire base without anyone else doing it on a priority three. And they can focus on more of their idle jobs or maybe some research, for example, which is psychoid brewing. And yeah, we haven't been doing as much because I did bring these down. We got to bring these two up. Yeah. There you go. Education's already started because Pug probably came in with the need fairly unsatisfied for learning. So that's going to get brought up. And hope I think he uses a social skill for the training, so you've got a pretty good one. Hopefully we can get you a relatively good age up. Oops, brother Pug. All right, that's really cute. So, structure-wise, sandstone wall. Let's do a little hook and drag. Ignoring that corner, putting that there. And a door in the middle, in the middle, and there. And there, we'll probably deconstruct this inner wall here. Saving us some material as well. Uh, I won't home zone this yet. Uh, we probably need to get someone to punch things. Okay, Smogger, you're just playing horseshoes. Let's do this. Insert standard wine that this is a stupid and boring mechanic. Requiring a little bit of extra micromanagement. That doesn't matter. Again, I guess that, well, okay, the smashing even takes a while. I'm fine with the deconstruction taking forever. I just wish I could just box like it and then not have to make it. Eakins of Fortune. Rassing Caravan. Four Drifters. We got 4.5 days. We might be able to get defenses up in time for that. 
And then see, I have to babysit your mood. See, you're getting low. You gotta cancel this. Wow, okay. All right. I didn't realize even how long it took to smash these, which is part of the reason it's annoying. I think the um, tweak scholar that makes you deconstruct this does actually deconstruct it much faster than the smashing. I wonder if you're getting any skill for that. Probably not. You can check tomorrow to see if you're getting any melee skill from smashing these structures. If you do, then I guess it's a great training exercise, actually. And all of a sudden, there's value to it. But I might go and throw Teak Spillor. Just We've got so much trash to clear here, it's so annoying. You know me. I'm lazy. Uh, this door is jammed open. How do you feel about that? Temperature's kind of okay. I mean, we've got our cooler going on here. Eh, I guess I'll turn it off. But I, maybe I won't force anyone to walk through. At some point, someone will just close the door behind me. We can use grenades to clear these. Not that we have any. Two more flake. All right. And where'd my psychoid leave go? We did a harvest, right? Why can't I find it? Psychoid leaves. Oh, they're still in the field over here. Okay. Pug, are you? Oh, you're nature running. Okay, Pug, I definitely want to limit you to a work area. And we're going to make this um, a different size. So, Pug, we're going to do Because of the nature running, the kids are much more likely to end up near the edge of the map dying through unbelievable amounts of stupidity. So, we're going to shrink this work area. Actually, let me just redraw this work area. Which is going to be the house and its very immediate surroundings. I'll include the mining over... Oh, you know what? We should check. I wonder if they fixed the issue that we saw in early access, uh, the unstable patch, where hauling didn't work properly with disconnected zones. Because in all the past of RimWorld, this would be fine, because uh, people can walk through non-allowed zones to get to another one. So you can do this with the work zone if you restrict people to it. But we saw in 1.5, they'd pick up one of the rocks, and as soon as they stepped out of the allowed zone, they would drop it on the ground, which as far as we know was new behavior. So we will have to give it a test, although I might not bother right now and just to make sure I might just do something like this. I guess I'll add these graves. And otherwise, I don't think there's anything we need to box in. So we're just going to limit Pug to this area. You got nothing to do, nothing to haul, nothing to do anything like that. Okay, well, so be it. Too bad you can't make blocks. Okay, so you're researching above making blocks. Maybe I do bring it down to a four. Or I bring the craft up to a three. Actually, Pug can craft. No, you can't. For some reason, I thought it would. Okay, we're going to bring the craft up to a three and reset you. Okay. And again, skill doesn't come into play at all for the block stuff. You don't get XP. It doesn't use your skill. So we can just go ahead and do that. 25 indoors. Okay, so, I mean, this one cooler is working. I mean, they probably still are going to be, like, um, sweaty. Getting that mood debuff from that. Actually, I don't see it there. Slept in heat. Okay, there's, there's still that. So we will maybe want more than one cooler, but for now, this is going to be okay. Now, we do have permanent summer, but I think it will still be cooler in the winter. I think there's still a little bit of seasonal variation that happens. All right, so we've got more regular block making now, which is good. This will finish up. I'm like, oh yeah, and we got to go and smash this stuff. So let's say... I'm over here and melee attack this. Melee skill. No, you're not getting any XP. I wonder if there's different things that are make it easier to smash. Yeah, I'm definitely going to install Tweak Explorer. I, I hate this mechanic. I recognize that that will rep represent a gameplay change um, because of the time. And I would not mind if it took forever to deconstruct each one of these things. I just don't want to have to micro a guy to do it. Keep an eye on the mood. So he's getting cranky here. He's getting tired and hungry. Actually, his overall mood's surprisingly high. And then it's like, oh, right, now do the next one. I wonder, hold on, do you automatically go and de-recruit yourself when you're desperate? That might be manageable. Let's see what happens. 
Oh my god. And the last episode, we enable Randy Random. And now all of a sudden we get the plague. Because of course we do. Okay, well, first of all, everyone's gonna get set. I mean, it's not gonna matter. I'm gonna set, well, everyone. I really just Pug and Gomp. Gomp should actually be okay because of the improved immunity. Pug as a child is probably gonna die to this freaking plague. Let's enable some bed rest. Um, let me reset you. And I'll have to build some extra beds. Yeah, I can do this so I can force you to rest until you. So someone will maybe medicine you. Or not. Okay, I'll, Hope is gonna do it. Not that you're a great doctor, maybe I should have forced Smogger to do it. Okay, maybe I'll do that now, actually. We'll restrict Smogger to be the only doctor. To maximize the skill as much as possible. Okay, 58% is not bad. Hug's the one I'm worried about, though. Gomp's probably going to be fine without us doing anything crazy. Ah. Oh. Randy, why are you going to be... Oh, I just realized... This, oh, right, this was lined up for the other one. I actually should have set it one step back before. Eh, you know what? It's okay. It's one step more forward into this room than it needs to be, but we'll deal with it. I don't think we need a second battery. We're not really consuming much power. Although, oh, I can get rid of this torch. We will go and build some actual lighting here, so we don't have to babysit that. And a rain. This is on Randy, too. This is not Cassandra Classic trying to kill us. This is Randy accidentally attempting it. Okay, well, and with the plague, this is going to be fairly miserable. Okay, it's still just one person with a knife. All right. Um, power conduit. Regular power conduit. Um, can I build through this? I don't know if that's buildable through there because it does count as a wall, so I'm not sure we can get it. I guess the thing to do is actually run a power conduit in the middle of the room. And I'm going to want to have this be a hidden conduit so it doesn't exist. We have any steel we do, so Hope can go and construct that. All right, beginning their assault. We don't have the trap, but I guess it's gonna have to be all right. Can everyone come through the door, back a little. Get the two mailers. This and Pug, I know you're ill, but I'm gonna bring you up anyway. I sent you back one. So you this guy makes it through the squeeze box. Okay. Done, done, done. Do we still have a grave? No. One nice thing about when you do your um, your cannibal run is you don't have to worry about building these graves. It's actually just very convenient. I mean, obviously it's very powerful as well to be able to just consume the meat and generate uh, human leather, but part of me just really appreciates the convenience of not having to do that, not having to be able to cremation thing. Hug, how you doing? Oh! Forgot that we have Preach Health, which I should have used instantly. Hopefully get two doses of it. Still at minor. Okay, your immunity's not too far behind. Gonna be in bed there, buddy. There you go, especially if you were due for a treatment. I mean, come on, kiddo. 48%. It's going to be tight. It's going to be so tight. Especially since I forgot to do the, um, the, the preach health immediately. Do we accept their help? You know what? Yes. Let's hope you're not crap. And let's hope you don't kill us. But I'm great if one of you was a doctor. Still four. Okay, so the five here is still better for us. Uh, we can just leave this on. We're not doing any taming, so it doesn't matter. You don't have any passion for cooking. No, it's fine. Okay. Construct, grow, mine, plant, cut, all on a two. I mean, I don't think we're doing any crafting, but let's go ahead and enable that. Because why not? I guess maybe we'll make sure everyone's cleaning right now, since Pug is currently sick. Let's keep this environment clean. 
Doug, how you doing? Okay, I think you're gonna be okay. Would've felt a lot better if I'd remembered to preach health earlier, but the immunity is growing very quickly now, so I think you're gonna be fine. Of course, Gomp's gonna be fine. Probably about to become immune. Well, not quite, but yeah, you're well ahead. I could probably stop even using herbal medicines for you, but we'll keep using it. Research, that's fine. Oh yeah, we do need some extra colonist beds. Um, oh, this is enclosed. It's not yet roofed, I don't think, though. Because, hold on, because there's a gap right there. That's the reason. We need this trashed. Smogger. Okay, you're about to wake up, which is good. And you'll feed yourself. And, okay, feed nutrient and taste meals to you. Right, you are the doctor as well. No tending? Okay, you're on cleaning now. So I'm going to go and tell you to melee attack this. Let's close that. The plan is going to be to build some more beds. Um, which I want to build out of wood, which you don't currently have. Okay, so let's do a chop wood command. On a bunch of stuff over here. Go build that, please. So this is going to be enclosed, and also uh, in the middle. So what's our from here? Which is the middle? So this is the middle point right here. So what we're going to do is sandstone column. Just for symmetry, we'll build four. But just these two is actually going to be enough to hold the roof up. Uh, let me cancel it in case you need to do any medicine stuff. No, you're going right into cleaning? Interesting. Oh, no, now you're tending Pug. Actually, I need to keep an eye on that. Although Pug's in the green now, which is nice. Okay, Gomp's getting a treatment as well. And now you're back to cleaning dirt. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here, and you're going to smash all this crap. Uh, maybe I'll put up with it. I don't know. Really tempting to throw in those tweaks. Cycloid green done. We're going to go to tree sewing next. So we need a cooking table. Electric stove. Uh, I think things are going to get moved around a bunch. Let me just slap it down here for now. So yeah, if these bottom out, I think Smogger might be recruit themselves. So may maybe this is fine. Maybe I can quit whining. Just, just short on power. No, that's true. That, that is, continues to be a bit, a bit of an issue here. Um, I'm going to route power through these walls. Just wrap it around. Or, I mean, I will do that, but I'm also going to go and move this. Yeah, you know what? We can we can get on top of this. These day and things. It's okay. All right. Check your look at your needs. Any chance Pug needs treatment now? Green peg, but your head. No, and you're about to get immunity. Okay, that's fine. Woo! We made it. Let me turn off the medical over there, please. Get some more education. That's going to be okay. Um, we'll go and send everyone to just tend by hand now, just in case anyone just gets bruised or something. We don't need anything else happening. The fact that this has an explosion sound is very disturbing. Battered perils probably just our visitors. Oh, right, cooker. Um, so we don't need to cook meals, although we we will want to do survival meals at some point. For now, what we're doing is Psychite T. Do until we have X. We'll do the one-time job, same thing. Do until we have X, and I'm going to set X to be like 50. 50 units of Psychite T around. We need some of it for Smogger, who's nearly done. They're down to their last flake. And if we start to feel comfortable about our supply, then we'll also enable recreation and Psychite T for other people. How are these people sleeping with this sound going on? You know? And let's go and remove these plans here. Let's remove those two bits there, because we're going to be building sandstone pillars and that. Then we'll remove this one. Okay, your food has actually bottomed out. You're even malnutritioned and starving, and you didn't auto-stop the, the job. Okay, that's pretty crap. 
But at least we're nearly done the internal stuff, although we're probably going to want to bash all this stuff too. I mean, we're fine with the stockpile, but... Done, done, done. Um, do we have... We don't have any steel... Well, 25, but that doesn't really count for anything. Or components. I guess I'll put this on now, because we're going to need some more steel soon, I'm sure. Or probably some more workbenches and things, so we may as well start the mining. I'm certainly going to want some. We're clearly out of wood, although we're good on beds now. This we're researching tree sowing now, right? Yeah. And we do have a cook. Oh. You need two cooking skills to make psychite tea. Well, that was somewhat unexpected. Okay, our visitors don't like nutrient paste, I'm sure. Let's set up a job. Well, they're just going to get themselves sick. But you know what? If they get food poisoning, tough patooties. I don't know if there's another good way for us to set up a craft. We're going to set up this. I'm going to limit this to only people of skill... Well, really, skill one. You literally... You have a zero. Right, because you have the minus four. I guess, hold on. I guess the thing to do is just turn on cooking for other people. Like, if, as long as you got at least a two, you can make psychite tea. We're not worried about food poisoning or anything. This also enables butchering. I don't think... Cooking skill, does it affect butchering yield? I know the rancher meme does. I know one of the things with 1.5 is they uh, alleviated the, the cap on meat, so you can actually get a lot more meat if you stack benefits. I'm getting cooking probably does affect butchering. Now, in theory, we're not going to be actually reliant on butchering on this run because we do have an incredibly good fertile soil place over here. So farming should just be ridiculous for us. I guess that's fine, but yeah, at least yeah, we'll start to make some psychite tea. Have it available for smogger. Um... Our default policy here for drugs, which we're going to rename to default, because I like doing that. Um, ooh, void sites here. Look at all this stuff. I will go and tell, set the rule for the panoxiclin, not that we have any yet, and there won't be anything else enabled for this. And the idea will be that this thing called one drink, drink per day, I'm going to rename this to like just tea or whatever. Um, we, could, we could leave this on, although for beer, I'm going to say... Do it if your mood is below 50. And Psychite Tea, you can also... It's actually every other day. Actually, I don't know how safe the beer is. Uh, safe dose interval is one day. Psychite Tea is every two days. We'll set it to 60 so that... Go and do this first. But we're not going to assign anyone to that behavior rule yet. But that's something we can do to help people stay quite a lot happier going forward. Building a couple more of these sandstone pillars, just for symmetry. One in the middle, I don't think is enough. Because I think in the middle is just slightly too far from the edge. Or is it? Would one in the middle be enough? Although it might be good to have redundancy. What if someone smashes one of your columns? Right? Work on that. We got sleep schedule stuff. I guess I could... For Pug, anyway. Plus the newcomers. We can put them on our standard schedule. Oh! Um, everyone's limited to the work area, which I don't think has to be the case anymore. Except for Pug, because I'm worried about you doing the nature running and going to the edge of the map and then dying. Yeah, everyone else can be unrestricted. Which might help for tree cutting, too. Okay, these pillars now in place. I guess I could uh, uh, flag the deconstruct already, because deconstructing is a lower priority. Although, theoretically, if we didn't have the... Oops. Those are power cables. If we didn't have enough... Um, the other hidden conjure is not doing okay. If we didn't have enough stone to build the pillars, theoretically, they could have gone and done a deconstruction in the meantime, which would have been less than ideal. Okay, see, people are wandering now, picking up some wood. It's going to be okay. Of course, we'll get a little bit back from deconstructing the walls. Not as much as we put in. We only get, like, three quarters, two thirds... Something like that of the material put in. And then it rounds it somehow. I guess I'll probably plan on finishing this as well. Uh, do I want to put a second cooler in here? I think I might. 
dynamite. Especially for the larger room. Yeah. that cooler. Thank you. We still don't have a freezer set up, and that's fine. This rice takes forever to rot. Very easy. Yeah, it's quite toasty in here, and yeah, that's a much bigger room to cool. On the other hand, if we made individual bedrooms, we'd have to worry about cooling and heating all of them. Well, maybe not heating over here, but cooling all of those, too. We might need a second battery or a second source of power. Normally, I'd also like to pick up um, the solar panel just so that if we get an extended period of no wind, at least we know the solar panel will generate some power during the day. Oh, also this door is open. I'm not going to help our temperature control. Right, I was going to set up a trap tunnel before we get a big raid. Short trap, what I think we're going to do, we're going to get ready over, over here for the fences. So wooden doors. We could use steel doors. Steel doors are also fast, just like wooden doors. You definitely don't want stone doors. They're ridiculously slow. Get ready to start doing some walling since this is super cheap and easy to do. That's sealed in there. There's nothing to worry about from this side. Over here, one door there. Uh, yeah, sandstone walls, please. There. And we'll do a little home zoning over here so it gets repaired and maintained. Good, and then the big wall project is over here, and then finishing up a little something over there. Maybe what I should do is just get a second stone cutter's table now. Can I make the stone cutter's table itself out of stone? I mean, although we might, no, we definitely do have the blocks, so I guess the answer is no. Uh, I'll probably make it out of wood. We'll put it here for now, but we're gonna we're gonna move some things around here. Especially, okay, I can deconstruct these inner walls. Let's get missed. Okay. We'll give us some wood back too. Mogger, you're relaxing socially? No, you're gonna go over here and punch this place. I should, I should really get rid of the ones that are outside too, because they're gonna get in the way. The ones by the wall. Prioritize those first. Alright. A bit of blood outside, that's fine. Food situation, I think, is okay. Yeah, we've got 700 units. We're getting another harvest here. Yeah, I think we're well past that that hump of worrying about our food situation. That's really good. But yeah, temperature is going to be a bit of a thing. Let me move these rocks out of the way. Uh, or sorry, power is going to be a little bit of a thing with running these two coolers over here. That is definitely consuming a lot more juice than before. I mean, when the wind is blowing, we're going to be okay. Combat supplier. We got some random leather we might be able to sell you if you're interested in buying that. Let's see. Hunger, how you doing? Okay, I'll let you, I'll finish this and then I'll de-recruit you. Smash, 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 there we go. Okay. Hope, could you go and have a chat with... Album. Album. We could buy regular medicine. Oh, we could if we had any money, which we don't. I could sell the flakes since we have the psych IT. I think I will. I'm gonna sell some crappy weapons over here. That's probably it. We're just taking a little bit of silver. Oh, why are you in such a bad mood? Yeah, that's fine. Air quality went down a little bit with all this being pulled in. Get some flooring then. Um, this stuff is ugly. Put a little hall if anyone's idle, just to move it outside and move it away from the wall here. That's gonna be fine. But we can start smelting this stuff down. I think we're going to be doing us a, a lot out of steel. We might need some, like, deep poor mines and stuff fairly early. Or go and raid neighboring mining sites fairly aggressively. Or we do the thing where we do a little caravan, where you go and move, like, a couple of tiles off, set up a little temporary second colony there, and just mine out the map and then bring it back. We don't need pack animals. It would be really nice to have that. Should I plant a little bit of hay? Just get that started? Mm, no. We have 
we have Min Minyoka here, who is actually a really good animal handler. Oh, we have no male horse available now. Well, that's annoying. And grazing, you know, we're gonna need hay. These people, our horses won't be able to graze on this map. We might have to do the thing where we keep a pen planted with dandelions or, or whatever to feed the animals. It is some extra planting labor, which I normally like to avoid. But that might not be an option on this map. And then also grow some hay. Because I would like some pack animals. Maybe I just build another little pen here. Plant dandelions in it. Yeah, okay. Do this. Put a couple. And we'll also plan on caravan hitching spot right out here too. There's a little fertile tile there, but it doesn't seem the most convenient. We'll get this built up. It's not really gonna cost as much. It only takes one sandstone, one block per tile. Move these rocks out of the way. New lovers, oh, tree sewing, okay. Now that we've got that, I think I will pick up solar panel because we need a little bit more consistent power. Maybe advanced light because it's really cheap and cuts a little bit of our power usage. Um, and then probably it's going to have to be armor and some weapons making. Smogger and Hope, suddenly complimenting her honor. Ooh, okay. So I th think, I don't remember if we got free love. I think we do. Yeah, okay. So I don't have to get married. Um, they're not going to complain about not sleeping together because they're sharing a barracks. But we can give them a bed so that they can get the bonuses from loving. And we could consider maybe even encouraging making babies. We've got some food. Not running the dubs breakdown mod, which is a shame. Worst weather for pay. Is it foggy rain? It is foggy rain. You know, I love my juggernaut serum. Syringe of opaque, milky yellow liquid that increases the user's strength and speed and allows them to recover from injuries faster. Serum is injected in the user's musculature where it adds energy to various mental processes. Oh, it sounds totally fine. However, oh, dang it. The unstable substance also psychically influences the mind, provoking unsettling thoughts and severely reduces the user's mood. Is it permanent? Always safe, 0% overdose. Oh, it lasts for 10 days. Huh. Twisted meat and the ferrite. I need some glitter world medicine. This is interesting. Oh, okay, it's not a permanent one. It's just 19 days of foggy rain, which I realize will impact growth rates, but that's fine. Juggernaut silver, glitter world medicine for when we get someone with a really bad injury or disease, our emergency button. That's a pretty good weapon too. I'm not gonna go and, I don't wanna deny that the steel, Masterwork steel gladius is an amazing melee weapon at this stage in the game. This is just sort of a temporary go strong. I mean, I'm, I'm interested in playing with the new toys, but as a temporary bonus, I think right now the thing to do is to accept for Glitter World Medicine. And we'll get 19 days of foggy rain. Okay, can we not, can we not get the supply pods right away? There we go. Oh, can I get you to prioritize? Uh, oh, Pug's drinking. Thank you. They didn't want to sit outside. So we will have to be on top of this. Maybe not set to like best medicine instantly. We don't have a ton of herbals. We might want to grow more than this actually. I'm wondering if I should do another strip of herbal medicine. Maybe I will. Maybe literally just the one strip because it's quite tall. Yeah, all right. Another breakdown. We might be out of components. Uh, yeah, I don't think I see the category for it. What's the closest components? Over here. Let's go and mine this out. We'll want them for our solar panels when we get the tech anyway. So, cash making. We're already growing psychoid. In fact, I increased it. Probably what we should do is manufacture some flake. Now, if you have an addiction, it's an addiction to psychoid. Not specifically the Yadol of Flake. So I think I can turn that off and leave on the T. Oh, speaking of T. Same thing over here. 
Yeah. What I'm actually wondering is we might even want to put the, uh, the cook to like a one priority. Get something butchered instantly. Make the tea instantly. Especially if we're going to build a drug bench that'll also do flake and yayo. What we want to make sure is that a certain amount of tea gets made at the top priority. I actually kind of like this idea. Since we're not actually cooking meals and it doesn't really represent any amount of time. Other than maybe right after we get a tea harvest. Yeah. Okay, tattered apparel is just our visitors. This is getting repaired. Let's attempt inside. 21. Yeah, surprisingly okay temperature wise with just these two. We get a heat wave. Oof. I shudder at the thought. The rice is going to cook itself. We're going to get puffed rice instead. Minyoka is offering to join us. Hold on a second. Now, we'll have to convert you. Lazy's bad. Kind is good, although usually not a deal breaker. Also makes you easier to convert. And then tough is amazing. Double passion in several categories. Yeah, okay. I accept. Hope. Let's start doing some convert actions, please. Actually, we could do some more rituals and bring more people here, too. We got food. Yeah. Oh, I got tree cutting, right? This stuff we can haul. So do that. Now, if I were to plant this down while everyone's busy. Cactus. Fertility sensitivity, 0%. Literally does not care what kind of ground you grow on. Mostly it's just a question of a huge amount of space. I'm also not too worried about attackers just burning down the tree. So wait, oh, you can... Right, that cactus specifically is probably very happy to grow on the desert tiles. Or maybe I just stick it out in this corner over here. Okay, you can't actually do the sand. Oh, wait, there's also fiber corn. Hold on. Which also has no sensitivity. Better here. I don't know what the yields compare to. The cactus actually needs skill. Yeah, th okay, there's probably a, a wiki page that compares the different growth rates. Maybe I can grow a little bit of both. What we're gonna do. We're gonna put a little fiber corn over here. I forgot about fiber corn. I don't know when it was added in. I don't think it's been in the game for like infinitude amounts. I mean, probably still, like, probably still a couple years. Probably still a long amount of time that I should get used to it, but maybe it's always been in there. I don't know. All right, it was beautiful. We get a mood boost, but no one joined us. Make sure people have a moment to get some foods and things like that. I want to move you. And I am thinking second stone cutter is probably still over here where we're hauling things. Or we have the second stone cutter, which is fine. Um, I never built the uh, chest table. We've got enough people. We're probably going to go in bigger build. Bigger. Yeah. Build a bigger table. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move these beds. Just to make it a little easier to pump everything up. And we're going to want a second one of those. How much do you go up in there? I mean, people can climb over the beds. It's fine. They're just thinking of stacking them up. Oh, also, I should get a dresser, which I always forget about doing. If I do this, they're constantly going to be crawling over this bed. Which will slow them down a little bit. You know what? It's not the end of the world. Maybe I'll move it after I do other furniture stuff. But for now, it's just going to be um, more convenient to do it there. Like, maybe, yeah, maybe if you do the other furnishings, we'll figure out some more things about our layout. Okay, some extra lamps. Although, hold on. If I just wait on this, I can get advanced light. I can just put the, the one big lamp in the middle. Maybe I'll do that. We'll deal with a little bit of darkness for a bit. Now, uh, table. Over here? Yeah, probably. Okay. We'll build a two by two table. Also get the chest table in there. Mad Boom Rat, you are very annoying. I do not appreciate you. Get people out just so I don't have to worry about who's where. And 
Okay, that was an unexpected. Face gone. Face gone. Any more shooters. Maybe I should move the machine pistol to someone off the pub. Thank you for continuing to chase Gomp. Die. We got the the rain, so I'm I think I'm not too worried about the fire right there. Hug. Yeah, let's drop your gun. Gomp's got an injury again, because of course. But I think Gomp's gonna take the gun. Uh, where did it go? There it is. Being treated, I'm just waiting. And you're just being treated by hand right now, which is fine. Okay, go and equip that. Thank you. Good. Build the new beds, move the new beds. Remove furniture, two by two table, which we'll make out of sandstone. I could, we could start doing marble, actually. Maybe I'll do that. Um, marble's not particularly strong, but obviously it's pretty. So we'll do this. Oh, um, just drop on floor. Or we could put a shelf. You know, maybe I'll do that. I'm gonna drop on floor, take the best stockpile. But we'll put a shelf right next to you. Which I guess I'm gonna be building out of stone as well, huh? Or marble. Let's just build that out of stone. Marble job, copy this. Oh, neither one of these ever got set up. Okay. Well, paste that. It's the marble blocks job. Sandstone, paste. I still want the sandstone above. And then we're going to move this over there soon. So this shelf here, storage, clear, important for blocks, stone blocks. There. When they finish the crafting, they'll just go put the shelf right over here. Keep things nice and organized. And I like that. You're working on marble now? Good. Now we have some marble. I can say, listen, I would like a marble table. Um, let's put a little gap there. I know we don't have enough right now. That's fine. I guess the chairs... Uh, maybe what we should do is grow a bunch more cotton. Did I ever plant some cotton? I did plant some. But let's do more. Because first of all, you know, clothing... Actually, clothing's a good moneymaker. I feel like you, d you can use a lot of clothing. We could even consider doing carpeting. Although we have marble, we'll probably do marble floor. That's that's quite a lot. Um, because what we might do is we might rely on armchairs some more. Yeah. Or maybe short term, I'll just build some extra stools over here and then replace them with armchairs. So you really just want to avoid using wood. And I'm not going to use steel or silver for our dining room tables. Okay. Where's the stool? Right over here. Sandstone. I mean, I could just make them out of marble. They'll be fancy. And then for recreation, we will do a marble chess table. People sitting on these two benches will be able to play that, and that'll be okay. Right, which will also turn this into a rec room, which we didn't have for a while. I could, I mean, we can even move the horseshoe pin in the room here, which would have dealt with it earlier. Because then we can stack buffs, right? This becomes a impressive dining room, rec room, all the things. We can stack those bonuses, all more pluses. Yeah, we're going to have to convert you. It's going to be okay. Okay, we got the new table and stuff, so what we're going to do is deconstruct you. And you. Well, actually, we should keep the wooden chairs. Deconstruct the table. The wooden chairs, let's go ahead and put them at our research stations. So we can get a little bit of comfort while we're doing the tech. Yeah, I guess I could have planted the fiber form immediately, couldn't I have? And speaking of, there's not seeming to be any growing going on. Bomp. What are you up to when you're up? Why is that? So I really have to put a cut in this episode, so maybe I'll do that now. But, if I wake up Gomp, what are you going to do? Oh, there's some time spending here. Mm, I might turn off the sewing for now. If you're going to plant, let's prioritize planting out here, please. We got a pen set up as well. Before I forget any more... Let's go and tame. We can also tame the donkeys. Well, I don't think I'm going to look around. We're going to tame those. Let's make sure to have a pen marker out here. And this area. And I kind of wish you could put a priority for the zones.
Now, I don't love doing this because I don't feel like it's a very good use of our time. But let's set up some dandelions in there. And we're going to follow this up by setting up a hay growing zone, which we can use to supplement their diet. We're gonna, I want to put this outside because what I want to do is I want to allow these things to fully grow before the animals come and eat them. And also, when we are going on a trip, hay doesn't need fertility, which is why, I mean, it doesn't need much fertility, which is why I'm going and using the non-fertile tiles to put them down because let's save the fertile tiles for something else. Although, I mean, it still benefits some, just not very much. So I guess if I want to be a little bit more time and output efficient, I could still overlap there, but I think that's going to be okay. Just a tiny little bit of hay growth. So we can start accumulating it. Get this stuff over here, and yeah, we'll tame those critters. Gomp's having a meal. That's going to be okay. And then you're back to the sewing area. You are going to start over here. And that's what I'm worried about. I'm worried Gomp's going to spend all his time just constantly replanting the dandelions and never get around to this stuff. I mean, it's going to be a hell of a training job. Your plant skill is going to go up pretty quickly because you're literally, like, you're just going to be working nonstop. But it might be too much. We're going to, we're going to do it, see how it works out, and then we'll make a decision afterwards about whether or not we're happy with this setup. Uh, there are mods that, of course, there's mods for everything. It's Rimworld uh, that will make it so that animals will only eat plants that are more fully grown or will eat plants in some sort of non-destructive way, which, I mean, honestly, dandelions really just should keep growing on their own. But, um, yeah, we're going to try to keep this one pretty vanilla. So we're going to put a cut in here. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode, and I'm going to see you guys next time.